Welcome to NGS, where we dive into my hobbies, such as, that was, playing cards. Now the deck I have to showcase today is the little deck of horrors. This is an illusionist deck, and they were doing an event for a bit where if you bought anything off of the illusionist website, you would get this deck for free. And I was buying decks left and right, so I got a lot of these. Like the SWE deck, this is another deck that I have a, a lot of extras because they were given to me for free by Illusionist. And I did not expect that this deck would be as loved and as used as it was. This one is a relatively new one because the last one got a lot of um, liquids on it that are of the alcoholic nature. Me and my friends, yes I have those, we play Ride the Bus. It's a drinking game with playing cards and it's a game of luck. And whenever I grab a deck of playing cards, there are two decks that I gravitate to, this being one of them. And I'll explain why right now. So here's the tuck case. One of the cool things that I like about this tuck case that's very unusual and unique is it opens from the side. You don't see that that often with playing cards. And it has a little jump scare for you. On the front we have here Nosferatu, or at least a representation of him. On the back we have a mummy. We have these lines, these pink and orange lines that are going through the back. Blue outline line on a navy blue case. On the side it says playing cards and on the other side we have a little sword shaped like a lightning bolt. Here's the bottom, created and distributed by Illusionist Playing Card Company, if that will focus. There we go. And on the top we have the name, the little deck of horrors, the inside, nothing special. Now I already cracked into this but let's get into the deck. Here are the backs. This is a skull if you couldn't tell there are four of them and then here is that X that you see in the background of the tuck case. And this is what all of the backs look like. It is a very loud, vibrant deck. And if you look at it, it's kind of playful. You have these pips that have these like stippling of light blue to give off like this gradient effect. Same thing with here, you can barely make that out. And the font is very friendly. Here is the Ace of Spade. It is the same skull that is on the back. And all the aces have a skull. And here are the jokers, nothing special about them. There's no reveal. They're just a ghost with a chain. Pretty cool. Now one of the reasons I love this deck is because the face cards are representations of classic horror monsters or classic horror villains. And you know, to avoid copyright, they're not exactly these characters, but they're, they resemble them enough that you can guess. So I play a guessing game with friends whenever we're playing these games with these cards to see if they can figure out every single horror creature or horror character. So I figured it'd be a fun thing to do that now with you, the audience. I will give you a few seconds to figure it out and then I will spoil it. This is an easy one. That's Medusa. Another one. If you said Frankenstein, you're wrong. This is Frankenstein's monster. This one's a werewolf. This one, this one looks familiar. Huh? Huh? This one's a mummy. This one right here also looks familiar. This one's Nosferatu! Or a vampire. Easy one. This one's a classic zombie. This one's a swamp creature from the Black Lagoon. Come on, they even put it on a J for you. This is Jason Voorhees, boy he. This is a classic witch. This is the devil. This one is an alien. This one's a little more difficult, and I say that because I think I know who it is, but I could be wrong. It is a robot, and I assume this is the Terminator, because in my opinion, the Terminator is still technically a horror. Or the original Terminator. So, this is the Terminator. If you have a better guess than I do, please let me know down in the comments. And here is the Ace of Hearts, which is a skull. All the aces are skulls. The two extra cards you get is an Illusionist promo card and a double backer gaff card for tricks. 
and that is the little deck of horrors playing cards by illusionist these i am pretty sure are out of print if i can find a link i will put it down below if i cannot these are still available through secondhand shops and with that i hope to see you right or back in the next video you're dealing with the ghost we are spitting facts so don't mistake it with the boast looking for a lethal injection we got the dose we are giving the chills from your head down to your toes